friends today i will tell you how to download 8085 simulator from internet or from your browser so you just type 8085 simulator over here we have different links you just go to github and over here this is 8085 simulator when we click on this we got this link or here we have some description 8085 simulator is created by this one jubin mitra and over here this is some screenshots you just drag down or scroll down you just need this javascript or you can say if you just click on this in my case it is not working so i just go to documentation part when i click on this just open this over here we have documentation of 8085 simulator i just scroll down and just go to the installation part so over here as you see 1.2 installation and upgrade notes are there so i just drag it and over here this is installation part so first you have to go to this link just click on this when i just click on this or here you just download or install java into your system right now my system is 64 bit i just download this just download this one and install this when i just click on this java exe file is downloading you can download or install using online version also okay so i already i just cancel this because i already download it in my download folder over here this is my javascript you just click on next you just install this i just click on this after installation it takes some time because i already installed the javascript in my laptop or in my pc so just click on this and next just put next next like this just install this right now it is showing if you want to remove this um, <coughs> i already installed this i just cancel this because uh, in my case this version is already installed so i just show you how to check so i go back to the documentation part it already shows me how to check for the version so you just go to your command prompt so first you have to open your run command put cmd in cmd you just write down java version when i hit on this it shows me java is not installed so i just put only java over here to check is there java is in my system or not <coughs> it shows me java is not present so i just again click on java install this it will take some time
after installing Java, you just go to your documentation part or GitHub part. You have to just download this one. This is my 8085 simulator stable version. Okay, just click on this. As you see, Java compiler is downloaded in my download folder. So I just go to you have successfully installed Java. Just close this. Right now, I just again put Java over here. Let's check. Right now, Java is not showing in command prompt. You have to just restart your system. After that, you can check Java is installed or not. Okay. So now, I just go to my download folder and over here I just click on 8085 compiler it is started as you see so every time after installation of Java you have to just restart and if you have any problem regarding this simulator you just restart your system and then click on this 8085 compiler okay so in this compiler you as you see over here this is the assembler over here you have to write your code and over here we have different registers general purpose registers and special registers and over here we have stack pointer memory pointer psw program status word program counter instruction counter etc and over here we have different traps <coughs> and different interrupts available available over here and for same instruction and dream instruction we have different parts over here and this is my complete memory that is from 000 to fff f and over here we have memory address and over here we can check the and if you want to check the complete memory, you just click over here. As you see, it is from 0, 0, 0 to you just drag it over here. You got F, 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 and over here, this is F. It is matrix form. It is in matrix form. Over here, it is 0 to F, and over here, it is 0, 0, 0. So, and if you want to work out with different input output, IOs or here we have different IO ports also it is 8 bit as you see 2 raised to 8 it is 256 so over here we have the address of these input output ports let's check some example over here let's say I have one command for addition uh, first I have to put some data into register and I want to perform a addition so I just go with MVI A I just put some data inside A accumulator A register so now another data is stored in second register that is B and the data is let's say 3 you just put hexadecimal H stand for hexadecimal MVI stand for move immediate data 0 to into A register ok then I have to just use add command add B it will perform A plus B and the result stored in A register now I just use STA I want to store the content of accumulator to the 2000 location ok now alt it will stop my program so now just assemble the code when you assemble the code over here as you see mvi a02 it is my 2 byte instruction it contains 2 machine cycle and 7 p states it will provide you on the complete information about the code as you see mvib is again 2 byte instruction so it takes 2 locations as you see the 
the first one MVI A02 it takes two locations again MVI B takes two location it is the program is started from 0, 0, 0, 0, 2 and ended at 0, 0, 0, 8 alt alt is my one byte instruction and STA is my three byte instruction as you see over here so you can run it step by step or run at all a time single time at a time so when you hit on run button as you see over here accumulator contains 5 because 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and if you want to check the results in the particular memory that is 2000 you just go to the memory and show entire content and over here you just drag because over here my program is started from 0, 0, 0, 0002 so initial position we have 3e as you see next position 02 and at the 2000 location i have my result that is 05 just check over here so my 2000 data is 2000 location is over here it is it is 05 so using this you can <coughs> observe your results on 8085 simulator. This is all about today's lecture. Thank you.